In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this old school glass shatter text effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey, what's up guys, Daryl here and welcome back to 2010. <laughs> I mean, it's really old effect, but I really like it and a lot of people are new to channel and also new to Photoshop. So I wanted to show how you can achieve this effect and it's actually pretty easy. So to create it, let's go to file and create a new document. In a document, it will be 1920 by 1080, resolution 72. Uh, and I'm gonna go and hit OK. After that, I need background color to be black. So first of all, I'm just gonna double click here and unlock it. Get my paint bucket tool, get a black color and fill it. And now I'm gonna type in the text. So select your type tool from here. And in the color make sure it's white so we can see what's going on after that i'm going to type the font i'm using is manteca and if you want to download it the link is in description okay so go and type the text after that go and confirm it and to make it big you can also press ctrl t hold the shift key and make it big like this uh, let's go and make it a little bit bigger okay that's looking good go and confirm it now to keep in exact center go and press ctrl a uh, then select your move tool from here and click on second and second last so it's in complete center and to remove selection go to select and deselect and for the font measurements uh, you can see it here let me show you double click here okay so these are my font measurements if you exactly want to copy them okay we are good till now now I'm gonna go and rasterize this layer. So for that, right click and rasterize so we can directly cut out the fonts. Otherwise you cannot do that. And to cut it, I'm gonna go and use this selection tool, right click and polygon lasso tool. Now, first thing you're going to do is let's say you wanna cut this portion here. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go and draw something like this. And to finish the selection, just double click and it will make the selection. Now to remove it, uh, I'm gonna go and select my move tool and then I'm gonna go and put it somewhere around here like this. And to get rid of the selection, you can also use shortcut, go and press Ctrl D. So it looks something like this and same way I'm gonna go and cut everything. So again go and select polygon lasso tool and then go and make a cut over here like this. And make sure that you don't make a lot of cut or it, it will just look messy. So I'm again gonna select this uh, move tool and then I'm gonna go and move this portion here like this. And to get rid of selection, Control D. It's the same repetitive process. So go and put in the cuts where you think it looks good. So in the end, it should look something like this and I'm gonna make it even more bigger. So again, gonna press Ctrl T, hold my Alt and Shift key and make it bigger. That's enough, confirm it. Text work is ready, now let's go and add the texture. So for that, go to File, go to Place and here, go and select the texture that you downloaded, go and place it. And the detail in texture, it's really small for what I need. So I will have to make the uh, texture really large, like really, really large. So for that, I'm gonna zoom out a little bit and then I'm gonna hold my shift key and make it big, something like this. Uh, this looks good. Then I'm gonna go and confirm it. It's completely up to you what kind of taste do you have. So after that, I'm gonna right click on my texture here and select create clipping mask. So it will only show up in the font as you can see here. And now I can adjust the um, texture with my move tool however I like. Now let's go and add some contrast in the texture so we can bring out detail even more. So for that, go and create new adjustment layer and select levels. And in the levels, uh, go and turn on your clipping mask so it will only affect the texture. Not that it matters, but anyway. Uh, now I'm gonna go and bring this slider a little bit here to make it darker. And then I'm gonna bring my the highlights a, li a little bit more and then I'm gonna compress midtones a little bit more. So now if I turn it on and off, uh, we have a lot more, uh, you know, detail in shadows and highlights. So looking good, now go and close it. Now let's go and add broken glass texture. So for that, go to file, place and select the glass texture, place it. 
and I'm gonna make it bigger hold my alt and shift key and make it big from all angles so it covers the entire canvas uh, something like this then go and confirm it then in the blend mode go and change it to light and color uh, and in the opacity go and make it 25 percent now I'm gonna remove some of this haze because it's too much so I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and again select levels and create clipping mask so it would only affect the glass texture then again I'm gonna go and add a little bit more contrast so I'm gonna drag mid tones here and add a little bit more highlights okay looking good then go and close it now I don't want any colors in this effect so for that I'm gonna go and create new adjustment layer and select hue saturation and make the saturation all the way minus 100 so it's completely black and white after that let's go and make things little bit more bright so for that go and create new adjustment layer and select brightness contrast and first I'm gonna go and make it bright you know somewhere around like 70-80% okay this looks cool then go and close it but I don't want it on entire image so I'm gonna go and select my brush tool uh, right click and make sure hardness is 0% opacity 100 and the color is black and then I will go and remove it from the edges here you have to paint here on this layer mask okay so go and remove it from the edges So as you can see it gives little bit more depth in the image and now we can finally add the PNG glass uh, particles so for that I'm gonna go to file place and here you have entire texture pack so for me I selected this fourth one and I'm gonna go and place it here and it's really tiny so make it big enough so it covers uh, you know at least text if not the entire canvas and after that go and change this layer's blending mode to screen so we only have the particles and after that in the opacity go and make it 75% so we can see the fonts properly and now I'm gonna apply a photo filter for overall colors so for that go to your adjustment layers and select photo filter and here in the options I'm gonna go and select deep yellow and then gonna go and close it and after that we need to add a little bit more motion in the text so for that go and make sure you have selected this burst layer your text then right click on that and select convert to smart object and after that go to your filters then go to blur and in the blur go and select motion blur and apply a little bit motion blur so mine is angle is uh, 63 and the distance is 10 but you can try different numbers so this is looking good then go and close it so now if I zoom in as you can see uh, now if I turn it on and off it gives it a little bit more motion to the edges and it blends better and as you can see the effect looks little messy that's because of I think glass texture as you can see here so I'm gonna go to my levels and add a little bit more contrast okay looking good and that's it this is the final effect so I really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if it did hit that like button and if you have any kind of questions or suggestions ask me in comment section below if you are new here and want to check out more videos by me you can click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus clicking on that subscribe button will take you to my youtube channel where I have tons of photoshop tutorials waiting for you so till then Goodbye, take care and have some fun with Photoshop.